got involved with a lot of, you know, gang related, you know, groups. I was participating in a lot of sinful activities. After high school, um, I didn't I didn't have a, a a way of success. You know, I wanted to go and play, you know, college ball. I ended up going to jail, you know, getting caught up. While I was in jail, um, uh, I had my first spiritual encounter with God, where my feet was healed, uh, and it was just it was it was mind blowing. I understood that from my feet being healed, the way that it was healed, and how fast it was healed, that God was who we say He was. Well, I prayed to God and asked God to to free me from jail, you know. And the next day, six hours later, I was free. I was free from jail, and um, uh, it was just mind blowing having that, you know, opportunity to actually be free from jail, knowing that I was sentenced to three to five years. Got out of jail, uh, went to college. I met a, a lot of other believers. Uh, I met a, a young man up there that, you know, we got together and, you know, we committed ourselves to God, you know, not really knowing, you know, that uh, God was really going to reveal himself to us the way that he did. The Lord was cleaning us out. The Lord was, was transforming our hearts, you know, allowing our, our minds to be changed into the man that we were created to be. And uh, along that journey, um, we started to minister. We started to tell other people what we knew and, and uh, what the Lord had shared with us. I always believed, but it's a difference from believing and actually, you know, living for God. You know, I was just believing, you know, I was just going to church, just participating in youth events and never really knowing, I never really knew who God was. You know, I never really knew who his son was. You know, I just heard of him and knew about him. Life isn't easy, you know, and you go go through trials and tribulations. You'll go through suffering. And it's not easy, you know, actually going through, you know, moments where, you know, you don't have nobody to talk to about the things that you experience. You don't have the, 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 the community to help you succeed into doing or accomplishing whatever it is that you that you want to accomplish. So the suffering that I went through and the, 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 the upset and years that I went through, uh, the, the outstanding pain where, you know, I couldn't really, uh, one, pray about it because I didn't, you know, have a spiritual backbone and, and two, I couldn't talk to nobody about it, you know. I never had nobody in my corner to really uh, uplift me and to, you know, give me key pointers on how to get through the things that I was going through. So I most definitely believe that uh, everything that I experienced uh, happened for a reason, just so I can be able to say what I'm saying today.